Namaste beautiful yogis. This is going to be a creative level 2, 3 vinyasa flow. Let's begin at the front of our mat. Feet are hip width apart. Open the palms of your hands forward. Drop the shoulders back and down, lengthening through the crown of your head. As you inhale, lift through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, let your feet sink a little deeper down into your mat. Inhale, extending the tailbone down, lifting the hands over your head. Look up in the direction of your hands. Exhaling and letting the feet sink deeper. Grounding. And let's bring the hands, clasping the fingers behind the head, opening the elbows back and lifting through your sternum. Open your heart up towards the ceiling. Elbows back, lengthening the back of your neck here. And let's inhale the hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Let's step the feet a little wider apart and we're gonna spin our hands side to side, allowing them to rock, to roll out to the sides. Following with your gaze, coming onto the tippy toes, great, and coming back to center, right hand on the right hip, left arm up and over into a side bend. Inhale back to center, exhale over to the opposite side. Lengthen, open the chest, open the shoulder. And coming back out, lifting the hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Straight back, exhale, folding forward. And let's clasp the hands and bring the hands behind the back. Applying gentle pressure, allowing the neck to decompress, allowing the spine to decompress, softening the gaze, softening the face muscles. Flat back, let's come halfway up, reaching in front of us, bend your knees, chair. Straightening the legs here, reach in front of you with a straight back. And back into chair, sit back. Pull the belly in, shift your weight onto your right leg, lift your left foot off the floor, one-legged chair. Step it back down, over to the opposite side. Lifting your foot in front of you, sitting back. Keep your back straight. And step it back down, chair pose. Squat a little deeper. Release the hands down on the floor, forward bend. Hands on the shin bones, look ahead of you, lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, folding forward. One more time, inhale, look ahead of you, lengthen, exhale, folding, and again, inhale, looking ahead of you, lengthening, hands on the floor, stepping back into plank, keeping the chest wide and open, right hand on the floor, side plank, left arm reaches up and over the head. Curving, rainbow. And let's step on both feet, plank with one hand reaching in front of you. Keeping the hip square. Great. Over to the other side. Left hand on the floor, side plank. Reaching with your right hand up and over, arching. Both feet on the floor, plank, right hand reaching in front of you, keep your hips square, both hands on the floor, chaturanga, 
coat. Upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back and down, lengthening through the back of the neck. Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adamukha Svanasana. Walking in place. Spread the fingers open. Breathe into hamstrings. Right leg comes up. Keep the hip square. And here we're gonna bring the foot across without shifting your hips you're just bringing your right leg to your left you're gonna feel a nice hip opening action some hamstrings back to center let's take one legged plank one legged chaturanga plank one leg chaturanga one legged plank one legged chaturanga one legged plank and now bring your knee between your elbows this is already a the strong part of the sequence so keep your breath going keep your knee between your elbows inhale your leg behind you and we're gonna step the right foot between the hands come up high lunge relax your shoulders press your back heel away from you hands on the floor stepping back into plank chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg up flex your foot and bring your foot across from your body keeping your hips square and your toes pointing down all five toes Very good, back to one legged plank and one legged chaturanga plank, chaturanga plank, chaturanga plank and let's bring the knee between the elbows, lift your knee as high as you can, keep your belly firm, inhale back into downward facing dog, step your left foot between your hands and come up high lunge, press the back heel away from you, extend your tailbone down. Exhale straight back, hands on the floor, plank, chaturanga, open your chest, big breath in, back to chaturanga, exhale pull your belly in and up, downward facing dog, keeping the ears between the elbows or the triceps, inhale right leg comes up, step your right foot between your hands, keeping your back straight, Let's bring the right hand up, left hand on the floor, twisting. Hands are reaching away from each other. Great. Right hand on the right knee, turning to the side and touching your, the toes on the left side. Back to twisting lunge and one more time. Side lunge, toe touch twist lunge, right hand on the right knee, touch the toes on the left side, and again twist lunge, side lunge to toe touch, keep spinning on your feet, one more time, touching your toes, to twist lunge, touching the toes, hold, and you can open your right knee with your hand or your elbow, opening the inner thighs flexing the toes on the left side great facing forward left hand on the floor right hand reaches all the way up towards the ceiling and let's bring both hands on the floor lifting the right leg Open the left hip, bend your knee. Great. Right knee towards the right elbow. Inhale back and open the hip. And again, plank, chaturanga, knee to elbow. Open. One more time. Right knee to the right elbow, chaturanga. Maybe an arm balance or hold. 
and step back into a one-legged downward facing dog one-legged chaturanga upward facing dog and downward facing dog bend the knees and hop into chair pose exhale hands on the floor forward bend chair pose forward bend moving with the breath chair pose forward bend and jump back into plank and chaturanga upward facing dog chaturanga back to downward facing dog left leg comes up step it between your hands bring the left arm up right hand on the floor and moving directly into side lunge touching the toes with the right hand side twisting lunge side lunge touching the toes back to twisting lunge side lunge reach and grab the toes on the right side and again twist lunge side lunge twist lunge side lunge twisting reaching grabbing the toes hold and you can open the knee here opening stretching the inner thighs flexing the foot great and let's turn to the front of the room stepping back in downward facing dog open the hip bent knee chaturanga knee over the elbow back to downward dog and again knee in chaturanga downward facing dog knee in chaturanga arm balance maybe stepping back downward dog plank chaturanga upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog drawing the navel in bend your knees and jump to forward bend bend your knees chair pose hands on the floor forward bend chair pose forward bend chair pose forward bend and let's look in front of us and jump back plank chaturanga upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog drawing the navel in allowing the heels to drop down towards the floor spread the fingers open take the right leg up step the right foot between your hands Look ahead of you, flat back, come up, high lunge. And we're gonna stand on the right leg, left leg in front of us, straighten the leg, step back, high lunge. And again, come up, leg in front of you, step back, high lunge. Keep your belly firm one more time, leg in front of you, back to high lunge. And again, reaching with the foot in front of you, and back to high lunge. And reaching with the foot in front of us, hold, lift. And let's move into warrior three. Just parallel to the floor, left leg parallel to the floor and let's release the left hand on the floor right arm reaches all the way up flex your foot bring both hands on the floor and switch into half moon standing half moon pose so if you can bring your leg forward and grab your big toe with your left hand open the leg up bring the hands on the floor and prepare to jump into one-legged plank chaturanga upward facing dog and back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog and 
inhale and let's come into plank chaturanga upper dog and exhale back into downward facing dog take the left leg up step the left foot between your hands and come up high lunge we're gonna prepare to bring the foot in front of us Stepping, foot in front of us, step back into lunge. And again, step foot in front of us, lunge. Foot in front of us, high lunge. Foot in front of us, high lunge. Standing on the left leg, right leg in front of us, high lunge. One more time, hold and move into warrior tree. Level the hips with the floor. Release, right hand on the floor, left arm reaches all the way up. Lift the back leg as high as you can, flex the foot. Both hands on the floor, standing half moon pose. Flexing the foot, lengthening the torso. See if you can bring your right leg all the way forward and grab your toes. And release your hands on the floor. Prepare to jump back into one-legged plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to downward facing dog, pull the belly in and up. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Spreading the fingers wide open, breathe. as high as you can in downward facing dog releasing the heels down breathe into your spine take the right leg up and let's bring the right knee across towards the left elbow into chaturanga and back up one more time right knee across chaturanga and back up and again one more time and lift the leg behind you this time straighten the leg and all the way behind you and one more time straighten the leg and all the way behind you and you can jump to switch your legs and over to the opposite side left knee across lift the leg and bring the knee across chaturanga and back up one more time and up and again lifting up and now straightening the leg chaturanga lifting and one last time hold and lift back up and you can jump to switch your legs right leg up step the right foot between your hands and come up high lunge You can release your knee down on the floor into crescent lunge, lifting the hands over your head, pressing the hips forward, extending the tailbone down. 
and let's bring both hands on the floor straightening the legs lifting and back into crescent and we're gonna straighten the right leg chest over the right leg moving a few times like this hands on the floor straightening the leg breathe into your hamstrings and back into either high lunge or crescent lunge and again straightening the leg and lifting straightening the leg and lifting both hands on the floor straighten intense side lunge and let's lower the right knee towards the floor facing the right leg here walk your hands on both sides of your leg and let's do a few push-ups here into this high pigeon pose slowly lower down and lift back up flex your foot and come back to center stepping back into one leg downward dog open the hip and flip over into wild thing hands on the floor release the right leg down on the floor for a quick pigeon we're gonna open the chest and slowly lower down and lift back up with a wave like movement in the spine curving the back good lifting opening the chest and again moving in a wave like fashion lowering down wave like coming back up and this time lower all the way down breathe into your hip and we can deepen it by bringing the left hand underneath down and across opening the back of the shoulder here you can even touch your shoulder right shoulder with your left hand here walk your hands in towards you open the chest look up and let's lift into downward facing dog and a few more wave like movements here to upward facing dog and curving back into downward facing dog left leg comes up step the left foot between your hands come up high lunge you can release your knee down into crescent you can straighten the leg and come back up into high lunge or crescent and straighten and again lifting high lunge lifting up high lunge into intense side stretch lifting up high lunge into intense side stretch lifting into intense side stretch again holding breathe into your hamstrings let's lower the knee out to the side walk your hands on each side of your leg and let's go for six push-ups here and 
and coming back to center, stepping back in downward facing dog, open the leg up, flip it over while then inhale lift up, exhale, prepare for pigeon left shin bone on the floor. Open the chest, exhale, lower down, curve like coming back up, exhale, lower down, curving coming up, breathe into your back, rounding the back, opening the chest, rounding the back, opening the chest, rounding again, opening and lower down, holding pigeon, optional here is to bring your right hand underneath and across and clasp behind slowly coming back out of this walk your hands in towards you Open the chest, look up. And let's slip back up into downward facing dog. facing dogs, moving forward, bending the knees, moving back, curving the spine as much as you can, arching the spine as much as you can, releasing in upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog, spread the fingers wide open, Bend the knees, jump your feet on the outside of your mat, on the outside of your hands and you can grab your calves here and use your elbows to open the knees out, a little further out, opening the inner thighs here, stretching, keeping the back straight, hands over the knees and twisting, looking over to one side twisting, looking over to the opposite side and again pressing into one knee and looking over the opposite shoulder and switching sides. Breathe into your spine here, into your back and back to center. See if you can bring your right shoulder underneath your right knee, straightening the opposite leg and lifting here. moving into an arm balance and lifting over to the opposite side bringing one shoulder underneath the knee and maybe straightening the leg here look ahead of you lower down chaturanga back to 
one leg off the floor and back to center. Back to a low plie, pressing the knees away from you. Continue stretching the inner thighs into a low wide squat and here we're gonna bring the hands on the floor, straighten the legs, lower down forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you, exhale forward bend, inhale lift, lengthen the spine, exhale forward bend. And here you can stay in a forward bend or lift your legs in a handstand or headstand. And back into forward bend. And let's jump to cross the feet, right leg in front of the left and bending coming down onto your shin bones sit down with your right knee over the left knee right hand on top left arm underneath lifting the arms and coming back up straightening the legs and lowering back down wrapping the arms around each other right arm on top lift Release on the floor, straighten the legs, push your hips back. Lower down one more time. Wrapping, lifting. Exhale, folding forward. Breathe into the back of your shoulders. We're opening the hips here, the shoulders. Great. And here we're gonna twist to the right, bring the forearms down on the floor all the way to your right. Hold for a second here. Breathe into your hip, softening the breath. slowly come back out of this you can place your right hand just above the right knee straightening the arm twisting and facing forward let's tuck the toes under straighten the legs jump to straighten the legs and jump to twist the legs again this time left leg in front of the right bending at the knees sit back the heels are by your hips left arm on top of the right lift straightening the legs push back into your hips bending at the knees again sit down wrapping the arms left above the right lift breathe into the back of your shoulders release Straighten the legs, push back. Bending again, wrapping and lifting. Lifting the elbows as high as you can and this time you can fold forward. Right, and let's bring the forearms on the outside of the left knee. Breathe. We're introducing a twist uh, into this hip opener. It's 
slowly coming out of this. Let's bring the left arm just above the left knee, pressing, straightening the arm and twisting. Great. Let's bring the hands to the front of the mat and you can jump the legs into downward facing dog. Bend the knees and we're gonna move a few times in a wave like movement again. Rounding the back, arching the back, rounding the back, arching the back. Breathe into your back and move intuitively here. Opening upward facing dog, lifting the kneecaps, extending the tailbone, back to downward facing dog, plank, chaturanga, plank, lift the right leg up and left arm forward, balance, release, left leg comes up and right arm. and release let's lift this time the right leg all the way to the right and release left leg to the left and release Bending at the knees, jump into chair pose. Take chair pose, forward bend. Chair pose, forward bend. Sit deep into your chair, forward bend. This time you can clasp hands behind your back, press the hands away from your back. Chair pose with a clasp and let's reach over the head hands on the floor forward bent we're gonna grab the right big toe with the index middle finger and thumb on the right hand come up to standing straighten the leg in front of you Open your right leg all the way to the right and you can look over to your left. And bring the leg back forward, switching hands. And let's open the right hand back behind us, looking back. Great, look ahead of you, bend the left knee, bring the right ankle over your left knee, flex your foot straight back either stay here or you can bring your hands down on the floor and prepare for an arm balance keep your right shin bone as high on your triceps as you can and lift your left leg up and here you can transition it to the front try not to touch the floor and back and lift good and coming back onto your left sending on the left leg you can bring your foot into your inner elbow and come up to standing holding your right leg releasing inhale up and exhale folding forward you can bend your knees and round your back here upper body is hanging this is a very therapeutic pose Inhale, chair pose, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, chair, exhale, forward bend. Inhale again, chair pose, 
exhale forward bend hands behind our back clasping come up chair post with a clasp exhale forward bend release this time left hand grabs left big toe right hand on the hip come up to standing And let's open the left leg over to the left. You can look over to your right. And coming back to center, switching hands. Right hand, left foot, look behind you. Exhale, so that you can go a little deeper in this twist. Let's look forward, then release the ankle right above the knee, opening that left knee away from your chest, releasing the hip. Great, let's bring the hands down on the floor. And you can bring your shin bone as high as you can on top of your triceps and transition into an arm balance. Flying pigeon, from here you can see if you can switch your leg forward in front of you and back and step it back down grabbing the foot between the elbows inner elbows and coming up to standing keeping the hip open and let's bring both legs on the floor rounding the back over just over the legs great Let's sit between the heels here and you can walk back. Laying back or sitting if you can go all the way back. Breathe into your quadriceps and hip flexors, softening as you exhale, exhaling through your hip flexors, softening the breath. To come out of this, press your hands down, lifting back up, and let's cross the legs and bring the legs in front of us. Keeping them, keeping the feet a little wider here at the edges of your mat. Inhale up, exhale forward fold. Inhale lift, straighten the back, exhale release a little deeper. And again, inhale lengthen through the crown of your head, straighten the back. Exhale, soften down, softening the hamstrings. And again, inhale, lift. This time we're gonna open the legs wide, flexing the feet, pulling the toes back in towards you. You can grab the flesh over the bone and roll it back. Grounding the sitting bones back, begin to walk forward into a wide-legged forward bend making sure that your sitting bones are anchored back so your knees are pointing directly up they're not rolling forward with you keep your feet active here flexing back in towards you great walk your hands back in towards you and we're gonna lower the right elbow or shoulder down on the floor reaching over the head possibly grab the foot or just reach over without touching the foot if that's impossible for you right now 
inhale coming up over to the opposite side you can just reach and keep reaching over your head if you can grab your foot just grab your foot and hold here great and coming out of this back to center hands in the center lower down one more time inhale come back up facing the right leg here with a twist lower down and stay low walk over to the opposite side twist and lower down slowly walk back to center hold here for a few breaths and let's come up you can bring your feet a little closer in shake your legs together and here there is an optional either half lotus pose or you can bring your foot on the inside of your upper thigh so we're gonna have the left leg extended right knee is bent either in half lotus or you can bring your foot into your upper thigh and fold forward breathe into your hip breathe into your hamstrings soften your breath And again, this is optional. You can bend your left knee. Inhale, left arm reaches up, forward and around to clasp behind. And bend forward. You can stay at the previous stage here of any of the previous stages of this pose here and work your way progressively into the complete pose. So don't feel that you must get it today it's something you can work towards and let's switch sides right leg extends left foot either in half lotus or left foot on the upper inner thigh inhale reaching up exhale folding forward inhale coming up bending the right knee if you can keep your left foot on top of the leg reaching up forward back and around clasping and bending forward great coming out of this soles of the feet together you can open the feet like pages of a book holding here and let's extend the feet in front of us clasp the hands wrapping around your right foot and lift your leg as high as you can straight back pressing the opposite leg firmly into the floor right let's bend the right leg here right knee presses back behind you as a hip opener and you can 
bring the back of your knee behind your right shoulder optional is to straighten the leg here and look up great from here we're gonna wrap the feet left foot underneath the right and lift into an arm balance and unwrap lower down straighten the legs forward bend grab your left foot here and straighten the leg and lift it towards you bending at the knee press your knee underneath your shoulder back breathe into your hip here you can bring the knee behind your shoulder grabbing the foot with the opposite hand straighten look up either stay here or you can give it a go wrapping the feet around each other and lifting your booty off the mat chaturanga lifting and sit back and let's bring the soles of the feet together one more time and you can look over to one side twist over to the opposite back to center folding forward inhale coming up and let's face the front of the room rounding the back slowly lower yourself down onto your mat onto your back let's bring the right leg up left leg presses down left heel presses down and bring your leg towards your chest holding either the foot or your calf Holding your left hip down, see if you can open the right leg with the right hand over to the right. Exhale and soften. Try to soften into this pose. Try not to force it. Try to let go of the patterns and ways you're holding the tension so that you can yield into this pose. slowly bring it back over your chest forehead to shin bone and let's bring the left hand around the right foot twist bring your right leg over to your left and look over to your right softening your obliques softening your belly inhale lift back up and let's bring the left knee underneath the right see if you can grab your feet breathe into your hips here bringing the feet in towards you knees are stacking on top of each other and you can open the feet out to the sides and explore this way of opening great let's switch sides now we're gonna bring the left foot into the hands and lower down pressing the right leg down into the floor left hand on the left foot open your left leg over to the left right hand on the right hip keep your right hip down
inhale bringing the foot back up the leg back up switching hands looking over to your left left shoulder on the floor soften your belly soften your breath and coming back out of this and let's lower the leg over the chest for head to shin bone wrapping the legs left knee over the right see if you can grab your feet lowering pulling the feet in towards you breathe and you can open the feet out again breathe into your hips and you can release soles of the feet together lowering the feet on the floor supine Baddha Konasana reclining taking nice deep inhalations and very slow exhalations with each exhalation feel your knees dropping out to the sides Pillar release in the inner thighs, hips, softness. And slowly begin to bring the knees up towards the ceiling. Feet are parallel to each other, hip width apart. Prepare yourself for either bridge or wheel. If you can do wheel, bring your hands by your shoulders and lift up into wheel, feet pointing forward. Hips as high as possible, extending the tailbone towards the knees, slight tuck in the tailbone, so pressing the hips up here is essential. To lower down, lower one vertebra at a time. Rest. Knees are together. Feet on the floor. And one more time, prepare yourself for a wheel pose hands by the shoulders by the ears press up knees pointing forward hips lifting as high as possible and slowly lower down one vertebra at a time knees together resting one more time lifting into bridge or wheel pose either way make sure your hips are pressing as high as possible the tailbone is extended down so there is extension or space in the lower back we are bringing the back bend into the entire back not just the lower back open the chest towards the back of your room to come down slowly, lower yourself down one vertebra at a time and bring the knees together, feet on the floor. Great. Let's bring the left knee into the chest and across. 
look over to your left. And switching right knee in and across, look over to your right. Inhale, let's come back up into Sukhasana easy pose. Feel free to go into Shavasana for the final relaxation or you can stay in any comfortable seated position. You can bring a pillow underneath your seat bones and stay here for a few moments allowing yourself to stay empty, just following the breath, keeping your eyes closed and gently observing each inhalation and each exhalation, allowing for your thoughts to just stay in the background. They are unimportant only. This present moment is the focal point. your practice. Namaste.